Hello everyone and welcome to Divi Modules. My name's David. In this video, I'll be going through the changes and new features that you can find in ImageBox version 1.1. If you're new to ImageBox, I recommend that you first watch the previous overview video, as even though there have been some changes to the module since then, most of the information that's contained in that video is still relevant today, and I won't be going through all of it again in this video. If you're already familiar with ImageBox, the first thing you might notice in the new version is that some of the settings have been moved. In the old version of the module, under the Content tab, we had the Image Box and Image Settings toggles. In the new version of the module, these have been moved under the Design tab. This is partly to provide better support for Divi's preset system, but also just to better organise the module. Under the box toggle is where we can adjust the size of the image box by preset or custom amount. And under the image toggle is where we can adjust the size, position, rotation, and flip of the image itself. The other settings which have been moved are the image blend mode and background settings. Previously, these were located under the content background toggle. In the new version, you'll find them under design backgrounds. And this is where we can apply blend modes and background colors to our images. Under the content background toggle is now for applying background colors to the whole module. Now let's have a look at some new features. The biggest change in ImageBox 1.1 is the addition of image text. There are two text areas, the title and the caption. Text for these areas can be loaded dynamically from the image itself or entered manually. And you can, of course, choose to have no text at all. If we have a look at this image in the media area of the WordPress dashboard, we can see that it has a title, some alternative text, a caption, and a description, which can include HTML. And it's this text that the module uses to load into its text areas. When adding a title to your image, you'll most likely choose to display the image's title text, alternative text, or enter a custom title. For the caption, you'll most likely choose to display the image's caption, description, or enter a custom caption. Under the Design tab is where we can adjust the appearance of the text. Text can be positioned above, below, left, and right of the image. We can adjust the gap between the image and the text, and between the title and the caption. When the text is positioned to the left or the right of the image, we can also adjust the ratio between the image and the text. All of these settings are responsive, which means we can have a horizontal layout at desktop size and a vertical layout for tablet and mobile. Under the title and caption toggles, you'll find all of the standard Divi font settings that you're probably already familiar with. We've already seen how we can apply backgrounds to the module and to the image itself. We can also apply backgrounds to the text area, title area, and caption area. And under the spacing toggle, we can apply padding 
to each of these areas as well. Further to this, we can apply border styles individually to the main element, image element, and text element. Finally, we can also apply box shadows to the main element, image element, and text element. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy these new features. I look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing what you can do with them. For more information, please visit the Divi Modules website where you can see more live examples and download the documentation. Thanks for watching.